Hey guys, today I am uh, making this video because of um, something that happened the other day and uh, I'd like to, to uh, talk about it, but uh, of course, I'm just going to put this out there that uh, what I'm going to say doesn't mean that I don't that I don't likely believe in the women who were like raped or assaulted by Chris Como's brother Andrew Cuomo but uh yeah but I do respect the woman who came forward to Chris Cuomo's brother and that uh at the time former New York governor Andrew Cuomo step was likely forced to step down due to those circumstances and after all the news about Chris Como's brother um, after all the news about Andrew Como's brother Chris Como who had to go out of his way to you know Apparently, CNN is suspending anchor and our colleague Chris Cuomo indefinitely. New documents reveal he was more. Okay, I'll let you watch this. If it loads. But I do have to say that I do respect CNN's decision to do what's best for the company. Even though I don't agree with what CNN is is doing, I totally respect their decision. But I highly, more likely, respect Chris Cuomo for likely to, you know, helping out his brother. Because, you know, Chris Cuomo and Andrew Cuomo's brothers and uh, Chris Cuomo has always said in his uh, show called, called uh, Cuomo Primetime that... I think it's somewhere somewhere around the lines of that he loves to help his family or that he loves his family and that he likes to protect his family. I don't know what exact words that he did say, but he talks about his family a lot over the years, especially last year and this year. And I cannot blame Chris Como for wanting to like protect Andrew Cuomo because at the end of the day that is his brother and brothers are supposed to help each other out so I understand Chris Como's pain when he when he had to do that at the time. I understand his pain because he was worried for him. He was worried. And I just don't think that any if anyone had the right idea thinking that it is normally okay to disown your siblings when they need help, your help the most. 
So it's just really important that you must understand that no matter what happens, regardless if it's sexual assault or not, you have to help out your family. You have to protect them and you have to be there for them. That's what I get told all the time by my parents. I always, I always get told by my parents all the time that you have to help your brother out or you have to be there for him and all of that. So there isn't anything wrong, in my opinion, that Chris Cuomo did. But he did break one of the rules at CNN, so that is something that I kind of do draw the line, and I have to stand by with CNN's decision, even though I don't agree with it. So in that case, uh, now that it's finally loaded, we can probably watch this whole video here. I think this is from this morning, so this is... Yeah. Oh, wait. Almost forgot. Be back in a sec. CNN is suspending Aker and our colleague, Chris Cuomo, indefinitely. New documents reveal he was more involved than previously known in shaping the defense for his brother, former New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, who faced sexual misconduct allegations. Brian Selter joins me now with the news on this. Brian. Yeah, some news about our own house here, John. And of course, Chris, a former co-anchor of New Day, now CNN's primetime host, one of the highest rated hosts on CNN. This was a long time coming. Cuomo in the news all year long because of his brother and because I don't know why this I don't know why it does that all the time. I'll be right back. Okay, so we are starting again. Hopefully uh this player plays. I'm host, one of the highest rated hosts on CNN. This was a long time coming. Cuomo in the news all year long because of his brother and because of the scandal involving the now former governor. Uh, it was known that Chris Cuomo was talking to his brother, giving political advice. But in the newly released documents, uh, you can see that Chris Cuomo is essentially working as an unpaid advisor, an aide, as if he is a staffer of the governors giving political advice and giving commentary also working his own sources to try to find out more about what might be revealed about his brother i really don't understand why the internet doesn't favor that it should work for websites like this i'll be back again it keeps buffering is to try to find out more about what might be revealed about his brother. Here's the statement from CNN overnight about the suspension, saying when Chris admitted to us that he had offered advice to his brother's staff, he broke our rules and we acknowledged that publicly. But we also appreciated the unique position he was in, and only first and job second. However, these documents point to a greater level of involvement in... I really hate my Wi-Fi. I really do. Okay, I think the player is working now, so we're going to have to watch the rest of this clip. And then overnight about the suspension, saying when Chris admitted to us that he had offered advice to his brother's staff. You know, I wish they put this on their YouTube channel, but they never always put all their news videos on there. He broke our rules and we acknowledged that publicly, but we also appreciated the unique position he was in. And, un and it's definitely frustrating because I have to go to their website, which the video itself here keeps buffering for no reason. 
because when I go to YouTube, it's fine and it doesn't buffer that much. But to see to websites like CNN, it continues to buffer. Like, why the hell does it do that? I don't get it, really. And that's why this video is, of course, gonna be a bit longer. Understood the need to put family first and job second. However, these documents went to a greater level of involvement. In and I hate trying to talk for time because it's frustrating not knowing when I should, like, edit out the, the spaces because it's a bit annoying for me to just you know, and in the video where I don't even know where to, like, edit out a few empty spaces, which is why I'm just gonna wait. His brother's efforts than we previously knew, and as a result, we have suspended Chris indefinitely, pending for... And wait until the video is finished. Because I really had enough. But yes. I I again really ex re respect CNN's decision to do that indefinitely. It is their decision, of course, if they want to Another evaluation. Like, so that's a statement from CNN executives overnight. I think what's going on here is a little bit complicated. And if they want to find him, that is fine. By me, I stand by their decision, even though I don't agree with it because I don't, I don't know why you have to be fired over protecting your own family. But uh, yeah. That's kind of the thing that bothers me the most. Why do you have to get Okay, fired? John, you've got media critics condemning Chris, calling on CNN to take action. You have some colleagues here at CNN who were mad at Chris Cuomo for putting the network in a tough spot and wanted to see action. You also have a lot of viewers, though, who love Chris Cuomo and are now ticked off that he's off the air and they want to see him back. So there's a mixture of uh, relief, disappointment. It's a complicated situation. I think the bottom line is that Cuomo is on the bench for now. We're heading into a holiday season. I think it's possible he will be on the bench for several weeks. It's possible he'll be back in January. Uh, but I think what's going to happen now here at CNN is a more thorough review of the New York Attorney General's document dump in order to find out more about what happened. Brian Stelter, thank you. Thanks very much for that. Over, over that. So, yeah, I don't think... He should. If it's a family emergency, such as, uh, you know, for example, your uh, brother's fingers are bleeding, or your mother's fingers are bleeding, or your sister's fingers are bleeding, or your kid's fingers are bleeding, then it would make sense that you have to, you know, protect your family by making sure they go to the hospital, and making sure that they don't, you know, lose a lot of blood. And if my and if my brother was in that type of situation, I call nine one one right away to go help him out because that's that's what families do. And at the end of the day, family comes first before job. And if you think that job, and if you think that, oh, actually, job comes first, family second, then, like, how are you going to know if your grandmother, or your mother, or your grandfather, or your father, or your brother, or, or your sister, are going to live tomorrow? Huh? Think about that. Think about how tra tragedies work. And thinking about how you're gonna check up on your family. Because nowadays, it's worrisome 
that family members get shot by suspecting gunman who clearly hates his own life and the life that he has to force himself to live the others so i definitely wouldn't like go on my way to not protect my own family if a gun shooting occurred and i'm sure chris colon wouldn't go out of his way to not protect his brother from what appears to be a scandalous sexual sexual assault to him because you know even though i i understand the implications of of what andrew comos accusers had to go through at the end of the day i also understand what chris comos had to go through and i once again just want to repeat this one more time i don't think chris comos should be fired over you know standing up for your family but apparently there there are rules that seen in as and Chris Como did break one of those rules but i really don't think that Chris Como himself should leave over this i think he will be back next year i definitely think so he will be back next year he will not be fired and uh besides if your family members are in a tough situation would you help them out or would you betray them because if you want to betray them then 